Coach Kwame is back on the scene. Check out my lean. Pretty clean. Welcome back, students. We are here for another poetry lesson. And this time, to borrow a quote from T.S. Eliot, you know who that is? Ask your teacher, pretty famous poet, who said the following. Immature poets, imitate. Mature poets, steal. <laughs> but wait, wait, no. Caution, no stealing, people. Let's use a synonym. Let's say borrow. Right. Today we're going to learn about borrowed poetry, which is a kind of poetry that you borrow. It's really simple. You take another poem and you sort of borrow from that poem and make your own poem. It's the easiest form of poetry I have ever come across, and I love it. Let's start with William Carlos Williams, a really awesome poet who was a doctor. <laughs> he was a doctor and a poet. I guess he was a doctor in case he needed to have a career to fall back on. Pretty amazing poet. And he wrote this amazing poem called, This Is Just To Say. Let's see if I can remember it. This is just to say, I have eaten the plums that were in the icebox and which you were probably saving for breakfast. Forgive me, they were delicious. So sweet and so cold. Isn't that a great poem? So what we do is we go over here to our board and you see I have taken away some of the words. So in a borrowed poem, you add your own words. I have taken, destroyed, some verb that will give us some action. Let's say I have taken the, well, we can't say plums because William Carlos Williams said plums. The cookies, perhaps we could add cookies. I have taken the cookies that were in the, you don't normally find cookies in the refrigerator or the ice box. Where would cookies be? The jar. I have taken the cookies that were in the jar. And we can create our own poem. We can go through the entire poem and make a totally new original poem. Well, not totally, but we borrow. That's borrowed poetry. 